common these days, but I think the, it was not uncommon to see 12 kilos, 10 kilos. Was a, when people were making bread once a month, you'd see a really giant one. Um, I think it's a blood on Remember when uh, earlier today we had those two doughs and we, we fold one, uh, folded one and then not the other? So this one's significantly weaker. You can just touch it and it's collapsing. You can already see that it's coming, caving down. The other one here has uh, risen back up quite a bit, right? And uh, you can see how much more strength we have on this one. It's, uh, it's a lot stronger. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm not going to, uh, I don't want to appreciate the, the one we folded because we already added strength to that. So it's going to, when we make that up, I'll just make it straight up. But this one is definitely use appreciate. So um, so when I dump dough out, I don't really like to uh, have it folded up on itself. I like it to kind of just roll straight out of the tub. I especially feel that way about baguettes. You know, I just kind of want it to, to drop straight out and um, not really fall back on itself. Appreciate it's welcome to do so and help out. Um, I'm not really going to tighten these up. You know, I'm basically just, they're going to get a little bit of body just by, uh, so I'm just going to go like one and a quarter kilos on this. I'll get better in a second. <laughs> So really all I'm trying to do is just uh, tuck those pieces in. It's not really like working the dough. If you, if you just want to tuck the pieces in, try not to roll too much flour in there. And uh, that's about it. So just that little bit, it's basically like a fold like we did the other one. It's no fun not working on a wood bench. So anyone would like to uh, try how I, I, you know, put this mass together is basically I, um, I like to I like to stretch I like to, to to stretch it over and fold it over on itself. Give it a little pad so you're not putting a, a pocket in the inside. And the dough is trying to stick as this table, but um, then you can just turn it over again, stretch it over again, and really that's that's really it. There's not a lot to it. If you tightened it a whole bunch, is that kind of like over mixing it? What's that? If you tightened it a bunch at this stage, would that be like over mixing? Yeah, I suppose. I mean, it might be just adding some unnecessary strength. And I'm trying to, there is trying to keep some, some of the crumb structure that's going to be in there. So do you ever work with oil? On I a table like yeah, this? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen people do that. I don't, I don't like it. I, I just, be honest with you, because you know this this table does, is weird because it doesn't the way the flour sits on it. But it really, you want as only as much flour as is necessary. Right. So typically, you'd have your flour away from you, and if your dough's sticking, uh, you go get some flour, and then you you come back. You know what I mean? You don't really pile it in front of you. So. Well, I'm, I'm working on a marble table, in shop, so <laughs> I find that the oil kind of. Is oh. You know, that's that Della Fattore, you know, they, they have that marble table. That, that bakery I showed pictures of yesterday, they, uh, they have marble, and, and so, and they, they swear by it. So, I, um, I like wood. So, if anybody wants to, uh, all right, <laughs> just simply, simply touch the dough. So this was 72, been fermenting for a long, long time.
There'll be more to shape. If you're missing out on this one, you're going to have lots to shape to this. So. Um, we're going to we're going to tighten them up in a few minutes, give them their final round, uh, and put them in the baskets. Some we have baskets for, some we don't. So some we're going to be flatter than others, no matter what. So.